Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is a progress. And working together is a success. Together, we completed our session 2020-21 successfully. Though there were several challenges, we overcame them and now we are heading towards a new beginning. Today, on April 5th, 2021, we officially begin the classes for our session 2021 and 22. Before a new beginning, we should thank Almighty to bless us and to keep us safe during the pandemic. Also, let us come together and pray to God to help us and strengthen us for a fruitful academic session. Let us all join the virtual assembly before a new start. Days have been harder than before. Hopes have been declining due to the situation that arose suddenly from nowhere. But with the blessings of God, combined and diligent efforts of the whole management of St. Francis School Greater Noida, the staff members, parents and our dear students, we have left no stone unturned to provide quality education to our students. We are grateful for the support of every individual for the same and our prayers for everyone are assured. We will begin our virtual assembly with lightening up the lamp to lead us on the right path and brighten our wisdom and knowledge. Let us start the day with our prayer song. Kindly stand in prayer position. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Your will be done. On earth. On earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us. Give us. This day. This, this day. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive us. And forgive us. Our sins. Our sins. As we forgive. As we forgive. Those who. Those who. Sin against us. Sins against us. Do not bring us do not bring us to the test to the, the test but deliver us but deliver us from evil from, from evil
the world looks beautiful because of the diversified cultures languages and religions every diversity has its own uniqueness we at saint francis believe that religion is a telescope to see the beauty of god's creations every religion teaches us the values and principles to live a meaningful life here our teachers will read out a few words of wisdom marked in a few holy scriptures they are meant to bring peace and wisdom to us a reading from the book of wisdom chapter 9 verses 1 to 11 o god of my ancestors and lord of mercy who have made all things by your word and by your wisdom have formed human kind to have dominion over the creatures you have made and rule the world in holiness and righteousness and pronounce judgment in uprightness of soul give me the wisdom that sits by your throne and do not reject me from among your servants for i am your servant the son of your serving girl a man who is weak and short lived with little understanding of judgment and laws for even one who is perfect among human beings will be regarded as nothing without the wisdom that comes from you with you is wisdom she who knows your works and was present when you made the world she understands what is pleasing in your sight and what is right according to your commandments send her forth from the holy heavens and from the throne of your glory send her that she may labor at my side and that i may learn what is pleasing to you for she knows and understands all things and she will guide me wisely in my actions and guard me with her glory the word of the lord the holy bible emphasizes that one of the greatest qualities we can possess is wisdom the book of wisdom contains instructions guidance on how we should live and walk on the earth king solomon with all his wealth and possessions understood the value of wisdom god's wisdom can make one wise and more powerful than 10 rulers in the city we need god's wisdom to get through life successfully and also to help us discern and to make good decisions let us make it our priority to gain wisdom as much as we can amen karmanye vadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana कर्म फल हेतुर्भूते संगोस्वी यू हैव अ राइट टू परफॉर्म युअर प्रिस्क्राइब ड्यूटीज बट यू आर नॉट इन टाइटल्ड टू द फ्रूट्स ऑफ युअर एक्शंस Never consider yourself to be the cause of the results of your activities nor be attached to inaction a number of factors come into play in determining the results our efforts destiny the will of god the efforts of others the cumulative karmas of the people involved the place and situation etc now if we become anxious for results we will experience anxiety whenever they are not according to our expectation so bhagavad gita says that we should be only bothered about the ex- actions and not the results ekankar satnam karta purak nirpav nirvair akal murat ajuni saiban guru prasad जप आद सच जुगाद सच है भी सच 
नानक होसी भी सच सोचे सोच न होवे जे सोचे लखवार चुपे चुप न होवे जे लाई रहा लिवतार भुखियां भुख न उतरी जे बनना पुरिया पार सह सियाण पालख हो ता एक न चले ना किव सचियारा होए किव कूड़े टूटे पाल हुक्म रजाई चलना नानक लिखिया नाल श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी डिपिक्स देयर इज ओनली वन गॉड ट्रुथ इज हिज नेम ही इज द क्रिएटर प्रोटेक्टर विदाउट फेयर नो एनमिटी द फर्स्ट एंटाइटी नेवर बोर्न सेल्फ परपचुएटिंग with guru's grace recite true in the beginning true through the ages true even now and says nanak will be true in the future by thinking and thinking again a hundred thousand times one cannot find a solution by being quiet peace cannot be found even if poised deep in meditation forever the hunger of the hungry cannot be quenched if food is carried as baggage one may possess a hundred thousand clever ideas but even one will not accompany him or her how then one can be purified how can one throw away the falsehood says nanak by abiding by the command of god which is written along with everyone wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ki fateh auz billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim yu'tiul hikmata may yasha ومن يؤت الحكمة فقد أوتي خيرا كثيرا وما يذكر إلا أولو الألباب He grants wisdom to whom he pleases and he to whom wisdom is granted is indeed granted abundant good The verse explains that the wisdom stands for knowledge with the power of discerning what is true and right it is one's ability to speak and act in the correct and right way any one who has wisdom will not adopt the narrow ways of evil but will follow the broad way of righteousness those who are granted and blessed with the true wisdom spend their lives by all means in good deeds after fulfilling their own necessities of the moderate standard whenever a team succeeds it is due to the support of the great leaders when the ray of hope was dimmer reverend brother julius george director st francis school greater noida was always there as the silver lining his encouragement and selfless unending support has helped us to find out solutions during the tough hours i am glad to invite him to encourage all of us to start our new session with extreme positivity and enthusiasm good morning good children we have invoked god's blessings to grant us wisdom and knowledge to know ourselves and to gain vidya Only God's blessing and the blessing of your parents and teachers can add color and brighten your life. Today is the start of the new academic year 21-22. And with this comes new teachers, new books, new uniforms, etc. But most of all comes 
a new chance to work harder and strive to be a better version of ourselves so we can perform better than we did before. Always remember that nothing can replace hard work. I wish God grants you the patience and perseverance that you need to work harder and acquire the knowledge to excel in academics and in life. God bless us all. Thank you, brother. Peace and wisdom are the most important aspects of life. Here, our choir is going to present the prayer of peace. During this pandemic, there has been a guiding lamp with all the teachers to help them to light up the path of wisdom and knowledge. I would like to call upon respected Sister Rose Tara John, our principal, to enlighten us with her words. My dear students, we were really looking forward to have you back in school this session and I am sure you too wanted to be here and enjoy the whole school experience once again. We are really disheartened that we have some restrictions because COVID is on the rise again. I'm sure you all are smart children who completely understand the situation we are in. So, even though we wish you were back with us, your safety comes first. I want to appreciate each one of you who put in so much effort last session. 
it's because of this that we were able to train you at different levels through virtual classes and adapt to the new platform of learning so remember nothing is impossible the word itself says i am possible this year let's strive to create a classroom like atmosphere in our homes as you have stepped into a higher class you must be more serious sacred goal oriented and disciplined this is your chance to show how responsible you are not only to your parents and teachers but most of all to yourself i wish you the very best my dear angels as we step into another year of learning may god bless you all with wisdom knowledge and good health let us all raise in attention for national anthem